Hi, second grade, how is it going? Sorry I'm not here today, but you are in awesome hands. Um, you can see my hands, but not my face. Um, have fun today painting. So we're in day two of our leaf. Now, before you paint, please make sure and double check uh, with Miss Walsh that you have added pattern to each and every section. So make sure that you have some sort of pattern in every section before you paint. Now, the reason why we use crayon is because it's going to do a wax resist with the painting. Just a few things to remind you, we've painted a lot, but when we paint, we want our paintbrush to be soft and gentle and like a ballerina that's always on her tippy toes, okay? So we never smash the bristles down. You will have a painting tray just like this, a set of watercolors. Um, this is actually usually purple and there's a black and brown. Don't use the black and brown, um, but just FYI, and then we have all of the colors. So because we're using watercolor today, you will need to saturate your brush, okay? Not too wet, but it does need to be fairly wet. And you'll start painting. So when I use the watercolors, I'm just gonna kind of roll it in the paint to pick up my color. So I'm gonna paint this section red. You'll notice that as I paint over the waxy crayon, the water is kind of being repelled, meaning it's not staying on the portion where the crayon pattern is. It will, of course, a little bit, but the crayon shines through. Notice how I am painting slowly and I'm using both sides of the brush and I'm just slowly guiding my brush across the paper like this. Okay, I'm trying to do my best to stay kind of within just that section. If you're ready to change colors, remember the pattern. Okay, you stir, wipe SpongeBob, make sure SpongeBob's not picking up any extra paint, and then you need to go back to the water, okay? So now I'm going to paint this section with this blue. Again, I'm just gonna roll it in the paint and start painting this section, okay? If your paint starts to get really dry, that means that you do not have enough water. It's a great thing about watercolor is that you use a lot of water, not too much, but if it's super dry, it looks really good. Or sorry, it doesn't look really good. Watercolor should be translucent, meaning you should see, be able to see through it. And you should be, definitely be able to see the crayon through it. Okay, I'm not gonna have you watch me do the whole thing, but I wanted to show you something. I did use the white crayon in the background Okay, and you can do the back as you wish, you decide. Um, I'm gonna pick up some yellow and you'll notice, let me start finding that white crayon. I'm gonna paint this yellow. Okay, and you'll notice the where the white outline is, that's starting to show up because my yellow isn't staying in that section. So you'll start to see the white outline through it. I don't know if you can see that through the camera. So remember, stir, SpongeBob, stir, SpongeBob. Okay, and let's add some green. I'm gonna do different colors in my background. I'm not gonna do just one color. Okay, that's up to you. And if you paint the table, not a problem because we can always wipe it up after. It's totally fine, okay? So I'm gonna add more paint to this section. Watercolors tend to blend together a little bit, which is really cool. You can even add a little bit of water and blend them together. So just take your time, have fun with your painting, okay? So remember not to smash your brush. If you need a different size brush, just ask the teacher, that's totally fine. Maybe you want something that's a little skinnier for some smaller areas. Okay, and have fun with your paint, okay? Just don't paint anything black. We want bright colors. Okay, have fun painting, you guys. I will see you later, goodbye.